Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to start with the unit with unit six. Uh, the first reading is uh, is called the UK's most eco-friendly pensioner. Um, this is about a woman who, old woman, um, she's sixty-seven, and she lives in a small flat in Croydon. Um, her name is uh, John Pick. John Pick. And she stopped using motorized transportation in uh, 1973. Um, she hasn't traveled in car, in a car, bus, train, or airplane. Uh, instead of that, uh, she walks or runs everywhere. Um, also, uh, John Bill, John believes that people of the world need to adopt uh, another kind of life lifestyle. Uh, she said that mm, that could be more eco-friendly lifestyle, lifestyle, um, because uh, she thinks that we use a lot of uh, energy and we are not uh, helping our planet. Uh, because of that, we need to change some of our some of our um, of uh, behavior, and uh, also, um, well, she said. Uh, well, uh, the interviewer asked her if she missed travel or if. She miss um, go go for a vacation, and she said that you can learn about places by reading about them. And she used to go. Uh, she she joined. No, she jogs down to the library every every day to read um, papers, um, research um, on internet um well um also she is she has um stopped using um she she has stopped using some things like uh t v or the computer or the phone she she doesn't have a cell phone um she lives in south in south she lives south london and um, uh, the interviewer asked her how does she keep warm, and she replies that she clotting and exercise. And um, also, in, well, in fact, uh, she only eats uh, vegetables, um, fruit, and um, this kind of thing, uh, this kind of uh, of food because now she's vegetarian. And she stopped eating meat uh, a long time ago. Uh, also, she said that um, it's very easy to live like this, well, like that. And she couldn't imagine living um, living another way now, because she she loves uh, her lifestyle. Um. Also, she said that she had a TV, TV, but she threw it out in 1975. Yeah. Um. Also, John is very physical fit and and mentally fit. Uh, she's a member of Mensa. Uh, this is the society of people with exceptional IQs and uh, she regards that um, her life is is an um, important experiment and well um, she couldn't imagine another way to live because now she's she's happy uh, with her eco-friendly um, lifestyle, just that.